Hey guys, so I got to film. Liam's been giving me ideas on what to film and uh, I've decided to do another reflection video. I did one on my first time meeting Liam um, a wee while ago and apparently it's a good video so I'm going to try and do another one. Um, this time I'm going to kind of think about the first time I went to Liam's house because it was kind of a big deal for me because I've only ever had one friend and that's Katie and like I'm used to her family and I'm one of the family so like I don't really go into people's houses often I don't really go into new people's houses more o well often but um like it was a big deal because Liam also lives kind of outside of Inverness so it's maybe 25 minutes 20 25 minutes on the bus to get there and for it to be outside it's a big deal because I also have anxiety from being far away from home um, as well, if I'm on my own, obviously if I'm with somebody that I'm comfortable with, it's fine. Um, but it was really difficult for me, even just getting on the bus, because I was so nervous. I remember I was, like, shaking. Um, I was really worried about meeting Liam's mum, because, um, mums and me don't generally work. Um, people's mums, like, they normally don't like me for some reason. Katie's mum likes me, mostly. I don't think she liked me to begin with, but anyway, that's a different story. Um... But yeah, I was really nervous about meeting his mum because I thought, what if she thinks we like each other? What if she thinks that we're going out or something? It'd be really awkward or she thinks I fancy him. And then my other part of me was like, what if she doesn't like me at all? Um, because I really like Liam as a friend and I didn't want to lose him because of that. So all that was going through my mind. Um, and meeting his brothers as well because I didn't know anything about his brothers or what they looked like. And I kind of thought, what if I fancy one of his brothers? And I thought, I don't want to do that, that'd be really awkward. I don't, thank God. Um, but anyway, I had all this going on, I was panicking. I remember I got on the bus, I was like, right, it's fine. I get to see Liam, just focus on that. And I was really panicking. And then I was texting Liam on the way, and we drove through. One of the places on the way was called Inchmore. And I kind of that dirty had a dirty thought regarding that. That doesn't sound right, it sounds like I was getting turned on with the thought of it. That's not what I mean, like, I saw it in a dirty way, as in the way it is but I remember texting Liam and being like I've just passed inch gone to inch war but what a dirty name and having a laugh about it and then when we got to be the board like I'd never been there before so um I was like where do I get off the bus and I was panicking about getting off the bus at the right place and I very nearly didn't get off the bus at the right place. It is so lucky that somebody else got off and I probably wouldn't have got up and then I got out of the bus and Liam and his mum were in the car because she'd driven down she'd driven to pick me up it's only maybe not even five minutes from the train station to Liam's house the train station the bus station to Liam's house um via in car in a car so um it basically he she came down to get me because it was obviously the first time I was there and stuff so I got in the car and my first impressions of Liam's mum were like, she seemed just like a really bubbly person. She shook my hand and she said, nice to meet you. And um, really, really, really broad English, which was different to Liam because he's kind of mixed between Scottish and English, whereas she's very, very broad English. And I thought she seemed just like the loveliest, nicest person. Nicest? Yeah, nicest person. I'm wondering, is that a word? It is a word. Um, and then we drove to Liam's house and I remember the first thing when I went through the door with the dog came running at me and that immediately helped me because I love dogs so it immediately calmed me which was great and then I met Marcus, Liam's brother and he was he was nice to me, he said hi and everything um, and that was fine and then we basically went straight to Liam's room which sounded really weird but um, we played, um, what did we play? I don't even remember what we played first, I think we played PS4 first but in 64, I can't remember which one, but we played and then um, we literally did that and then we vlogged. I've never vlogged with anyone else before, so that was new and, like, really good. And I just felt instantly relaxed like that. Um, I was still a little nervous because, like, it didn't just go away, but I was literally calm with Liam like that. And then I met Gavin, Liam's other brother, um, sort of after that. I think it was when we went through for dinner. Um, or maybe before then, I don't know, but he was kind of quiet, didn't really say much. 
Um, but then we dinner was a problem for me because I didn't know what we were having either, Liam. And I had this thing with food because I'm so fussy. I thought, what if I don't like it? And we had roast chicken and it was really nice and my anxiety was for no reason. We also had fajitas. Pretty sure that was the same day. Might be wrong, but anyway, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. We had fajitas for, like, lunch, I think. Yeah, and we must have had them for lunch. Um... And they were so good, like the best fajitas I've ever had. Um, and then we basically just played computer and um, we like vlogged. We also went to like Liam audition for um, Climate Jane, so we were basically doing that as well. We went to the, for what with Bella the dog, and we went through his singing and stuff. So that was the main reason for our for me going round and it was really good fun um I now feel like I wouldn't say I feel at home at Liam's I don't know is that the right phrase I guess I do feel at home at Liam's like I feel comfortable there and I feel like I don't feel anxious at all when I'm there now so it's funny looking back and remembering how scared I was that day and how nervous I was and everything like I remember pretty much remember bursting from the toilet and being too scared to go and pee um but there you go um, and to show how comfortable I am, I actually stayed at Liam's not that long ago, maybe a couple of weeks to a month ago, um, and it was the first time I stayed the night at anybody's that wasn't Katie's, and to, I was so comfortable, I literally went to sleep like that. Like, the second I put my head down and tried to sleep, I was out, and that never happens, because I'm normally really bad at falling asleep in places I don't know. Um, well, not that I don't know, but, like, for the first time I stayed somewhere... I get I can't sleep properly, so that was totally amazing to fall asleep that quickly, and it was one of the best sleeps I've ever had. So I definitely say I feel comfortable at Liam's, and yeah, so it was really good, and that's kind of my reflection. Uh, I don't know what else to add. I probably forgot stuff, and Liam's gonna be like, "Sophie, come on," um, but yeah. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I want to do more reflection videos because I actually enjoyed this. So I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, if you like. If you enjoyed this thing, give me a like, subscribe, you know the drill. Bye, guys!